Lost, Bayer, Revenge, Bushido X, Fate of Black. Now we do this. Definitely not your ordinary van. We're about to find out. Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. and see a curated display, but behind the scenes, it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections.
It's just a matter of time, motherfucker! You're gonna get a nasty makeover!
Pierced we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm -hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who.
V, do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait! Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Feeling tired? Bored? Powerless? Relax. No need to rush. Experience all of Chromanticor's... Ah. Flavors Uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading? Forgot the title of his favorite movie? Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. So the whole time... You knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night, tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. And? You cut some kind of deal with him? No. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After, there was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this, ever. His life depends on it.
damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. You're truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis of lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. like transcendental where's it from you got a license for exclusive distribution in night city come on man ain't nobody bothered with that shit know why because stuff i got's way too legit to be legit feel me all right you got my attention <laughs> knew you couldn't resist virtues all yours Couple more eddies, you could use my plate. No need. I've got my own wreath. Of course you do. It's probably top shelf, latest firmware too, right? You see, this virtue is approaching vintage grade. I doubt you'll be able to run. I'll try running on my own first. If that doesn't work, I'll be back. Hey, hey, no problem. You know where to find me. This virtue better be worth all this trouble. Chill, homie, chill. Satisfaction of your money back guaranteed, all right? Now, come on. Go where exactly? To my rig, yo. Where else? Not like I carry that shit on me. Hey, this is my rig. Hey, take all the time you need.
Just like me, isn't it? Getting trapped in the brain of Night City's dumbest merc. Uh, what? What happened? Look around and connect the dots. Oh, scabs. Shit! I can't believe I got conned. So your brain isn't completely fried to a crisp. That's good. Time to wake up, because you're about to be breakfast. For fuck's sake! Chat time. Oh, come on, give me those pearls of wisdom. Get this over with. But 50 years in purgatory, I get Hey, come on. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory, enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory, I get You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off, or I implant my blade in hey, your wait. ribs. Know this fuck. For fire with our boys. You know, what was Gustavo to that hit? Well, this got real fucking interesting. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? 
because you look like you got some heads on you. I see nothing for free. Not in this goddamn city. Not in this goddamn life. Here, all I got. The rest, bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Grand and badly if you had this death in me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. <laughs> to good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. Break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know. Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you, V? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. And no more than an evening's work. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like I got them tire fire. Like half this city. Well, but today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh, she had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. It means a lot to me. CD Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. Too bad, Don. I'm trying to focus. Say no. Right, great. See you at Joss's then. Sounds preen. Hey, 
It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day, the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Look. Decided to step on her foot. Don't know why. Guess they don't call me a gumshoe for nothing. Doesn't even make sense. woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up. I'm a fucking puke. Narrate that. is a bum. Gives him a wide berth. Doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Uh, seriously, wh what did I ever do to you? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building, ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh, maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Hey, hey careful! You can hear his shirt! Well, well, well. Nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who's Wait. right. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know, I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec, uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing, I... Oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them, and I can't share them with anyone, not even my own husband. 
I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it, oh, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't planned. Please, uh, tell him, tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself, that, that I'm really sorry, that life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least, not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was at a ripper's getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes... It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So... My son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Her own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes. Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but... The woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. Who are your troubles? Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See? That's more like it. Yeah. Finally making some sense.
Right. So, where was I? Ah, I was... Cubo. Huh. I think it was here. Won't take long. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat? Um, soy meat? Okay. You know, maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. Is this an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. Um, uh, where will I find the rice? I'll call you back later. Really nice of you to come. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. It was all River. I just helped. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy had... Uh, don't owe me a thing, Josh. <laughs> I'm so quick to break down. Anyway, the rice is right there. That's Maddie, nice. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Sure. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. 
One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? Oh, my parents died. Oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris, what did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, see. you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? Join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, Big Trail and Haywood. Grab your set. Could be fun. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah! Me too. All right, let's get to it. All right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco El Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey, v, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's cruise! Hey, I have better Not half bad. <laughs> Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! That's all you got! Hey, I have better aim! Nuh-uh! Watch this! He's hit! Not done yet. Okay, that's all of them. But next time we gotta be faster. Oh. 
Out of the way, citizen. Obstructing justice is punishable by law. This is your last warning. Easy there, Captain. I'm just passing through. ready. Oh, Mom! You almost had him! Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups! We're the best! Thanks for letting him win. They had fun. Oh no, they had me flat beat. Hey, food's on the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Don't have one, don't want one. No place for me in one. And I just don't need it. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. V, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um... Well, that's decided. Got an 11.99. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. You're just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. 
This way, I... oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just push. Ugh. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently, the worst ah, city between shit. the Atlantic and the Pacific. I sure do love this view. Find it calming. used to die for. Great spot indeed. Told you. Got something for you. <laughs> Your peace? Had her a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. Don't know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Got some lemonade? Anything in that vein? Lemon? Well, sure, but seriously? It was supposed to be a family dinner. I wasn't expecting a hard lubrication. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. Sure you don't mind me drinking? Probably lots more. No, you kidding. Your spot this. Your customs. You'll hang with me, though. I can be awfully charming when drunk. <laughs> we'll see. in the moon, and there's still no cure for hangovers. Well, at least we had fun yesterday. Yeah. Um, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush, either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. Tell Randy, hey. 
Will do. See you later, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. I guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up! Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. 
SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Somebody's hijacked your life, reset your course, your career. I'll admit, there were a couple of fortunate coincidences, but... They forged your views, personality, even that skepticism that pisses me off so much. Clearly what they want is for you to be their mayor. Molding you like a clay figurine. Fuck. I need to remember who recommended SSI to me. Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him! Got no idea how we go about doing that. First I'll find him, then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Show their hand if you're patient, wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. As long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war. Feign weakness, so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz! So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... <sighs> I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. The same with the Aredis. Take care of me. Good luck. <laughs> Good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man.
Come on. Time to lay it out for those little idiots. Their 15 minutes is up. Hey, so, what's the plan? Simple. We get in the club, find the little slut's dressing room, do our thing, Delta. Thing is, I can't be seen. I'm not about to give him any free PR. Yeah, pretty sure you gave him enough already. Burning truck was everywhere. All the sheets, all the feeds. Don't get smart. Tell me how we get inside. Let's look around. Hey! You don't have a spare couple of tickets, do you? No. Word is they sold out. I mean, we got VIP passes, so... How's things? Can't wait either? <laughs> I heard the girls crank it out preem. Heard that too. I heard they're overhyped Asian bubblegum scop. Guess we'll know in a sec. Have fun. Are you? The fucking guy you robbed! Carrie, you're a dine. Carrie, son! I ain't your son. This ain't a meet and greet either.
You'll do what he says. Now. And then you'll forget he was ever here. And if we don't? Don't? Then you can say goodbye to your careers right now. Simple as that. Carrie-san, we don't get it. We have a deal. They said you loved us. They said your bedroom was full of- Oh! Hell no! You hearing this? The fuck are you on? I'd sure like to try it. Okay. Seems like you don't get it. I don't give a shit what you thought. There is no deal, and there will be no deal. Butcher my song on that stage. You are done in Night City. It's a promise. But we're going to bring your rock into a new era. Isn't that what you want? Rock? You? Okay, let me tell you something. It's been claimed before, but you actually did it. Rock is dead, and you killed it? Congratulations! Your manager contacted ours. Said you wanted to work with us. Kovacek? The, the fuck? He, he never even asked me. The fucking corpo cunt bag. Listen, Carrie san that cover is an expression of our love for you. Please, let's work something out. Rock might be dead, but Carrie's blind if he can't see these girls got potential. Looks like the label fucked you all. You're their pawns. They're playing you. Had enough of this fucking around! Tell them the concert's off now! Cancel the show. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it! We'll talk later. Now you're gonna call those scup suckers from MSM and tell them you've changed your mind about the cover. Got it? Whatever you want, Carrie san and not a word about this to anyone. Unless you want V to pay you another visit. Let's go. Best not to leave together. Sure. And thanks. You don't take matters into your own hands. They'll squeeze you dry, chew you up, and shit you out. Later. What did you know, Jackie? The guy was a good chum. Used to drop by for a round or two. Or ten. 
tough guy exterior on the crack after numero tres. Big dreams in that head. World's already poorer without him. I gotta go. See you around.
Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit! Barely recognize you. I see you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. I'll just, uh, be right here. So where were we? Let's get back to biz. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab at Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V, who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Sounds too good to be true. Oh, fuck it. It's worth a shot, at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. Hey, 